Hey, hey guys, it is Alice Gordon here, your business mentor and marketing strategist. And I am back y'all with another video and I have heard you. <laughs> I've heard you, trust me when I say I've heard you in the comments. And some of you guys were struggling with um, Canva links and sharing documents to Facebook and different places and being able to have your PDFs, um, the links in your PDFs be clickable. So I wanted to just do a video where we really break it down and I share with you how exactly to add links to a PDF, to save as a PDF, and to share this PDF on a platform. And um, we're gonna open the document together and make sure that the document is clickable. If you are new to my channel, I wanna say welcome. Thank you so much for stopping through. Um, my channel has marketing strategies to help you to market in a way that attracts money-making strategies online, as well as all kinds of motivation as well. Okay, guys, so don't forget, if you're loving what you hear, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Guys, I normally upload on Thursdays, so I come through every Thursday with some hot content. That notification bell is gonna let you know when I come through. And just to let you know, guys, my videos are timestamped now, so if you wanna fast forward through me talking, you can feel free to get straight to the juice and do that. Um, so guys, don't forget I have an amazing marketing training down in the description box. It is called the Marketing Blueprint. I'm gonna be covering some amazing strategies for you to market your butt off in the online space. I also have an amazing school for entrepreneurs and inner circle called the Profit Freedom Tribe. Um, if you really are serious about leveling up leveling up in your marketing and as well as diversifying the way that you earn money online and dominate your sales that is the place to be so you want to click the link in my bio to learn all about that so guys let's get into it um so this year in 2021 I'm, i've actually rebranded so right now i am working on and i have worked on my mood board for my brand and i've updated my entire team um, my video um, people, my my um, ads people, anyone that I'm working with, I've given my mood board to. Um, and we can get into this, guys, in another video. If you guys would like to learn more about how you can do your mood board, definitely let me know um, in the comments and I'll show you exactly how I created this one and how I got the template. I actually purchased the template and I just kind of dragged and dropped. Um, I'm all about just getting things done quickly. So I can definitely do another video and share it with you guys if you're interested in learning about how I achieve this. So since I'm already working on it, guys, we're just gonna link a few things and then we're gonna save it as a PDF and then I'm going to upload it to one of my Facebook groups as a test and we're just gonna see you know, where it goes from there. So here's the thing, guys, okay? When you create a document in Canva and you save it as a PDF, you are free to link whatever it is that you want to link to this document, okay? So if you want for people to view your website, let's just say here, you want for people to view your website, and let's just say these words said view website, you are free to double click on this um, and then go up to the three dots here, okay? And you click link. And then from there, I'm just gonna type in my website, dallasgordon.com. You know, if you wanna use the HTTP, you can, whatever you wanna do. So I'm just applying that. And you see how that's put like a little line by underneath of the words color palette. Well, that, and you see how the arrow is getting big. There's a link now under color palette, okay? Um, so let's just say, guys, that you want to also put like, and I'm gonna unlink that in a second. Well, we're gonna keep it just as it is for, you know what, let me, let me unlink this. And this is how you would unlink it. You would just click on it, go back to the dots and go back to the link. And um, hold on guys, a minute. I'm just gonna take that out and hit apply, okay? That's how you would um, unlink it. Okay, so before I make any changes to this document, let me make a copy. That way we can do whatever we wanna do with it. So I've made a copy. Let's do that again. I'm gonna link the word color palette, okay? And I'm gonna change color palette to website. I'm gonna say my website, okay? And then we are going to now click on the three dots, click on link. And now I'm gonna link the words that say my website to go to my website. And I'm gonna hit apply. So 
this should now be linked. Let me double. Okay, so you're, let me try this again. And hit apply. Let's do that again. All right, there we go. So the first time it didn't take, probably because I didn't highlight it, but now it's linked. So let's just say, because I had some people asking about credit card icons and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is just like remove some of this so that we can like play around with that. So let's just say that you weren't wanted to have a PDF and inside of that PDF, you want it to link to some sort of um, payment page or something like that because somebody had asked about that. So let's just say I want to go into elements. I don't know if they're in here or not because I never do that. But let's just see if I put Visa. Let's just say I put the Visa logo in here or what have you. Come on. And. Okay. Let's just say, guys, that I wanted to put different payment logos in here for something that I'm selling at the end of the PDF. I can definitely do that, right? I can definitely do that. And I can just put them kind of like down here. And so we're just used to now, okay? Cause I don't wanna get too anal for no reason. So, okay, so let's just say I wanted to highlight my payment logos, okay? And then I wanted to, it's not let me link two at once. Okay, let's try one. So let's just say we could select one and I wanna link this payment logo. So wherever the payment page is, guys, that you wanna link your payment logo, wherever you wanna send them to pay, that's what you would type in here. You would copy that link, paste it here and click apply so that they can pay. So in this case, guys, we're just gonna link my website again um, just for this video so that we can test this PDF and make sure that it works. Now, one way that you can test this PDF, guys, is you can actually um, open up this PDF. You can preview this PDF by hitting these arrows down here. Um, it says for full screen. So I'm just gonna present in full screen real quick. Hopefully, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I was hoping it would work. And if you present in full screen, guys, you can actually test to make sure that like your links are working. So if I click my website, it's gonna take me away to my website. And that's what it's doing right now. It's taking me away to my website, right? Um, if I click the credit card logo, same thing. It's taking me away to my website, guys, because that's where we, that's where we linked it to. So it's taking me there to my website. So now let's talk about saving this PDF. We wanna save this PDF. I'm just gonna go up to this download button. I'm going to hit it. Make sure that it's in the format that you want. You have a um, you have PDF standard, you also have PDF print, and it's gonna explain to you exactly the difference between the two. Um, PDF print, guys, is gonna be like more high quality. That's what it says here. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, and then from there, once I select how I wanna print it, I'm now going to only do page one, and this is the one that we edited. So I'm gonna select page one, done. Then I'm going to download only page one. And then we are going to see how you know this works, okay? We're gonna open it up and we're gonna make sure that these links are clickable, right? So I'm just gonna open this up right now and just kind of make sure that this worked. So right now, guys, we've opened up our PDF. If you click my website, that's working that's taking them over to the website. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Um, and if we click the credit card, you can see that it's turning in from an arrow into the little hand. That's also clickable, guys. That's gonna take me away to the website, okay? And anywhere that you share this PDF, guys, it does not change the fact that it's clickable. If you wanna go over to Facebook and share this, wherever you wanna share this, it's still going to be clickable. If it's not clickable, guys, it's something that's being done wrong, 
Okay, so either you need to go back to the drawing board and you know re-link, um, you know relink your wording, okay, or your or your visa logo or whatever it is that you want to link. You want to go back to the drawing board and relink those things, um, and then you want to resave it and make sure that you are saving it correctly. So just to remind you guys, in order for you to save these links and to have these links embedded into your PDF, you have to save it as a PDF, okay? If you save it as a picture or anything else, you are not gonna be able to click on these links. So I just wanted to kind of go over this, guys. So no matter where you open this document, I was gonna go over to my Facebook and all that kind of stuff, but I don't wanna post this into my group. So I'm not gonna do that. But guys, wherever you post this document, as long as you embedded these links properly in Canva, this PDF is going to be clickable. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, for anyone who had any questions, if you have any additional questions, feel free to drop them in comments. If, they, if I can answer them, I will for sure. If I can do another video for you that will help you, I will record another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to click on the free marketing training that is in the description box below, as well as to check out the Profit Freedom Tribe. I would love to see you guys inside of my tribe. I want you to have an amazing and blessed day, guys, and I will see you on the next video. Oh,